Hello everyone! Welcome to my Learn Serbian tutorial. Uh, this video aims to introduce you to the Serbian alphabet by going through the specific letters or sounds of the language. I will be giving examples of those sounds used in words. Uh, the first thing you need to know about reading Serbian is that every letter will be pronounced in only one way, no matter in what word it is or what position in the word it takes. So, let us begin. For a start, hello in Serbian would be ciao, ciao, or zdravo. Zdravo literally translated means healthy and is slightly more formal than ciao. Here we have encountered the letter ch, that's the leftmost letter you see in the screen. The one next to it is similar but sounds a little stronger than the first one. We pronounce it as ch. The lower letter, spelled as the English C, is pronounced as ts. So we have ch, ch, ts. To give an example for each of those letters, I have picked the following words. The first one is kucha, means house. Kucha. The second one is machka. Machka means cat. If you want to say a little cat, kitty, you would say matza. Matza. The next set of letters are z and z, respectively. You can write them either way, like the big letters, which is the way I prefer, or the way of the letters in brackets. As an illustration, we have the word brzo which uses the letter Z, brzo, and it means fast. And its comparative form, which is brze, it uses the letter Z, brze, meaning faster. Serbian, just like English, has the letter S, which is pronounced similarly in words, S. But there is also S with a little thingy on top of it, which we pronounce sh. It's almost as English as h, but it's a little stronger than that. Sh. Here we have the word spavam. Spavam, meaning I sleep or I'm sleeping. And the verb shetam, meaning I walk or I'm walking. Notice that these verb forms end with the letter m, m, spavam, shetam. That is how you will recognize the first person singular, that is, I. As you can see, here the very word I is omitted, which is a very common practice in Serbian. I is not necessary since the person is already contained in the verb. However, we do have the pronoun I and you can just as well use it in the sentence I sleep or I walk. The word for I is ja. Ja. So we have ja spavam, I sleep, and ja šetam, I walk. Then we have the letter d, which is the same as English d. D. But then there is like a crossed d, which you can also spell as dj. That's pronounced as one letter, and we say j, j. And another letter is d, and the letter we've seen before, j, so d, j, when combined, they give the letter j, j. So, on the screen you see d, j, j. Apart from these two, Serbian has two more letters that are created by combining two other letters. Before I go on to those, I first want to illustrate these three letters that we saw last. The word for tree is drvo. Drvo. The word for mold is buj. Buj. The word for chimney is odrak. Odrak. Now, the two other letters I want to talk about are created by combining 
the letter N and J, and the letter L and J. So we have Ny, that's NJ, Ny, and Ly, that's LJ. So Ny, Ly. When something is tasty, in Serbian we say Nyam Nyam instead of Nom Nom. Nyam Nyam. The word for love is Ljubav. That's a noun. Love. Ljubav. Now I'm going to go through the entire alphabet. The letters I didn't mention specifically sound pretty much the same as in English. You're about to hear them. A, B, V, G, D, J, E, J, Z, I, Y, K, L, L, M, N, N, O, P, R, S, T, Ch, U, F, H, C, Ch, J, Sh. I probably should have mentioned that the R we use in Serbian is a lot stronger than in English. Um, it's more like the Russian R. We say R. You roll your tongue above your teeth to get R. Here are the same letters, but written in a different manner. These are Cyrillic letters. We use Cyrillic and Latin letters equally. So, to be able to read Serbian in any situation, you will need to know both types of letters. But no need to rush. We will learn words and grammar with the help of Latin letters, and Cyrillic will come in time. In the end, let's learn how to say bye in Serbian. The words ciao and zdravo can be used to say bye as well as hi. Or you could also say dovigenia, dovigenia. Do vi je nya to say goodbye, but that's a more formal version of it. So, thank you for watching and ciao!